Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Get Some. I am your sommelier, Danielle Lindau with 5 to Wine Time, and today we are going to get some Albariño. Albariño is this really fun grape that you see a lot coming from Spain, especially the Rio Spices region of Spain. It is the Valley of Green, it is fresh, and that is just what the wine itself is. It's a beautiful, crisp, clean, dry white wine. Uh, this is the Remat, it is a 100% Albariño, and let's just dive right into it. I can't lie, uh, one of the reasons why I chose this bottle is the label itself. It's just really pretty. So yes, I'm a sommelier, but I still choose the wine by the label sometimes. And this label is intense. It is telling you a lot about the wine, even if you've never had an Albarino before. Uh, it shows the dryness of it, the intensity, the aromatics, and it goes into its uh, certification levels as well. Um, it even put on the label a six intensity. So let's see how intense it is. It's definitely there. It's a very aromatic. One of my favorite parts is the minerality that is actually coming from this wine because it's on the other side of the mountains instead of in Rio Spice, it's on the other side in Cortez. But you're still getting those beautiful citrus notes, a little bit of kumquat, a little bit of white pepper, asparagus, a little bit of a sea breeze smell. Um, this is wine actually comes from uh, Costa de Segur, which is on the other side of the mountains of Rio Spices, which the Rio Spices Albarinos have this beautiful, almost sea breeze ocean to it. So I'm really excited that even though it's on the other side of the mountain, you don't have the influence of the ocean, you can still get that beautiful um, salinity with it. With that golden hue that I see in the wine itself with the green youthfulness, it is very vibrant on the palate as well. This is a beautiful Albarino, again, coming from Spain, really nice, crisp, clean, a youthful wine. I would drink it more in the spring and summertime, but I really enjoy this beautiful bouquet of flavors and aromas on the palate. You have the flowers of the lilies, gardenias, geraniums, the lemon zest is coming through, the tangerines, a little bit of kumquat, so a little bit of tropical fruit notes coming through. It is definitely an intenser uh, aroma versus what it is on the palate. It does kind of stop a little bit, so I think that maybe with a little bit of food, it can bring the wine to life, but it is still quite enjoyable as an Albarino coming in from Spain. And I just wanted to introduce you to something new and a little bit off the beaten path. So. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It is five to wine time, so grab yourself a glass and I'll see you next week. Cheers.